Does that not get you guys going? Those two teaser videos that they released? I'm telling you guys, uh, let me set you guys down here. Arguably, these two are not, are probably the hottest hot hatches right now on the market, you guys. Well, not even on the market yet. Like, you can put a deposit down and hopefully you guys can get one. And uh, looking at some of the stats, if you guys are following along and trying to get one of these cars, you guys probably know they're like pretty much identical, you guys. Uh, they're both JDM. Uh, produced in Japan, well, te technically, um, the Civic Type R engine is produced in or assembled in Ohio and then shipped back to Japan and put together, where the Corolla is all produced in Japan, you guys. And none of that BMW and Subaru collabs and stuff like that. This is a true, true JDM car, you guys. Um, Let's go through some of the stats here. Uh, 315 horses compared to 300. Uh, 23 PSI, 25 PSI. Really close, you guys. Two liter, 1.6 liter. Six speed, both from six speed. Uh, wheelbase, Honda is wider by four inches. It's a 108 compared to 104. The length of the vehicle, of course, the Honda's longer by 181 and 174. Height, Corolla comes in taller because I think they're more rally inspired, you guys, but you can take it to the track. It's uh, height wise for the Civic is 55 inches and 57 for the Corolla. I've seen them, the Corolla looks really wide, you guys, but Civic beats it out by two inches and I've had it in my shop and it's, it's pretty wide, you guys. They come in relatively the same weight. Uh, of course, the Civic beats it out by uh, 388 pounds and Corolla is 320 or 3,285 pounds. So that's probably more or less because of the all wheel drive system, right? 90, 19 inch wheels, 18 inch wheels. 18 is probably better for the track if you're tracking it. Probably looks better in 19, but that's, that's subjective, you guys. And you can change the tires out at any time. Both of them comes in Michelin's uh, Sport 4S unless you go with the Maurizio edition, but good luck getting one of those, you guys. Uh, five, both of them five seconds, 0, 060. Top speed for the Corolla is 142, so 143 miles per hour, limited by electronic. And both of them are 400, 4,000, 42,900, so let's say 43,000 MSRP, if you can get it for MSRP, you guys. So, the, Cro the Corolla has carbon fiber, real carbon fiber. Civic, nah, it's so fake. Compared, let's say the F FK8, they had that plastic looking carbon fiber on the door, like the, what do you call it? The side skirts and the front lip and it just, even though I know you're gonna buy it, you're gonna change it all out and stuff, but come from the factory, especially at, 40 some thousand US. You think you get some little carbon fiber goodies, right? But so Corolla, one up for them, you guys. Full carbon fiber roof. Uh, I think the hood is carbon fiber too. Uh, but don't call me on it, you guys. I didn't open the hood on uh, when I was in SEMA when I saw it in, in person, but uh, it, it's, it's sick, you guys. What would you choose? Before we get into the vlog here, you guys, comment below what one would you pick if you had a chance to pick one or the other the civic type r or the gr corolla you guys let's get right into it so we have established now you guys probably know most of the stats even without me even telling you guys that these two cars are identical but it looks like the corolla is i think about a little bit better than the type r uh it has an actual real um e-brake handle where this their civic is like a, one of those little electronic ones i don't know but you might need a handle if you want to drift that car because front wheel drive is really hard to drift if you don't know what you're doing so that's one for the corolla uh carbon fiber roof like i said another one for the corolla it seems like this the corolla styling if you like that kind of styling it's it's pretty it's good looking you guys this is but I think the Civic, if you're more of a gentleman, more of a grown up look, the Civic has you on that one, you guys. Um, straight out of the box, right from the 
manufacturer, I don't know. It's just a tough. It's I, I'm hard, hard, hard pressed to pick one over the other, you guys. But uh, I don't know. I have deposits on both, but the Civic is probably more obtainable, you guys, at this moment. Uh, the Corolla is just nowhere to be seen. Uh, no VIN numbers issued. Even though, despite I have a deposit, there's no guarantees. Um, I don't know how you guys are in the states, but uh, in Canada, there's obviously a dealer adjustment, deal adjustment uh, markup on it. And right now, the Corolla is don't even know. They didn't even tell me a price for that, you guys. The Civic is already twenty thousand already marked up. Um, that's what it is. Uh, I don't know if you guys are able to get it at MSRP. If you can, I would recommend buying it even if you can't and just flipping it because you're gonna make a ton of money you guys and if you guys can get it at some msrp leave a link show me show me that you guys can because there's a few of you guys on the previous video saying that you guys can get it for msrp and i think that what they're doing is they're listing it msrp to get you in the door and then they're going to throw you at the dealer adjustment and dealer add-ons and another vlogger did it he went in there trying to buy a FL5, trading in his FK8, I think, or is it his Civic? And oh yeah, they tried to hold him hard on it, you guys. $20,000 plus uh, add-ons. So it was like 25,000 US, you guys. That's more than half of the car, half of the car. So let me know if you guys can get it. If you guys, like I said, if you guys can, I would just buy it. I would do whatever you can to buy it because you can flip it. Wow. If you want to flip it, because it's, once you buy that car, I don't even know if you want to get rid of it because it's so sought after, you guys. So that's the point. These cars are meant to be modified. And if you can get a Corolla, because this is brand new for the Corolla, Toyota Corolla this year, you guys. The GR is a new, whole new platform, new motor, even though it's in the Yaris but it's new to North America, you guys. Would you modify it? Would you, would you, because if you modify it, you will basically diminish the price tag because the two collectors will basically shy away from a car that's uh, modified. And if you can get a hold of one of those, would you modify it? Because the Civic, it's been around for centuries, you guys, or not centuries, but for uh, decades. And that car can be modified and without guilt, I think. I think I'm gonna modify it. If I get one, I will modify it, you guys, this for this channel. So let me know, would you modify it or not, you guys? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's a tough one, you guys, for the Corolla. If you buy, what are you gonna do? Would you modify it? Would you just full send and just put everything on it? Um, there's gonna be more, with, uh, with that said, there's gonna be more support mods. Uh, for the for the Civic, you guys, for sure. Right out of the gate, there's gonna be a lot of tuners. Um, that thing is meant to be tuned. There's even a company named after Honda, Honda, right, you guys? So that you know it's gonna be tunable right off the get-go, you guys. And there's no company named after Toy, there's no Toy Data. There's no such thing as Toy Data. Um, so there's gonna be, yeah, there probably will be enough tuning software for it, but uh, aftermarket parts, Maybe not. Uh, Corolla is, uh, or Civic's probably the way to go for you guys. If I had to choose between the two, it's just because it's right away I can modify it. And it's going to be a lot cheaper than this sucker here because that one without sponsors and without uh, support, it's it's a money pit, you guys. That thing, triple everything. Uh, when it comes to a Civic, I think it's going to be, a, or a Corolla, it's going to be a lot easier for me to uh, modify it easier on the pocket, you guys. So, looks wise, I love both cars, you guys. But I think I would probably lean towards the Civic. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Is, is the Civic the way to go, you guys? Because um, I, I don't know if I would want to modify the Corolla. It just, that would probably be a collector's car. And um, yeah, I don't know, that's a tough one, you guys. All right, guys, so let's talk about interior wise. I think the, the Honda's got the Corolla hands down you guys with those those seats and that red interior and like I said in the previous video championship white with the red interior is like yeah I just oh. it'll be hard pressed if, if I if I'm lucky enough to get either or and if I get the Honda oh man I don't know if you want to 
change out to bridge seats, you guys. Like, uh, I don't know if you want to, but if there's a need to, or maybe the weight is save weight, but with the Corolla, it just, yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard. Uh, I, I would probably lean more towards the Honda to for interior wise. It just, they refined everything and it is that new screen, even though the old retro, uh, rev uh, limiter LEDs is just a nice touch. Yeah, probably Honda is more for that aspect interior wise. I would probably pick the Honda, you guys. Um, let's go back to the engine. The engine wise, uh, Honda has a history with Formula One and I've never seen, I've, and I drive really hard on these cars and then, and they rev, they rev like no tomorrow and uh, it's very balanced and Corolla is, it doesn't have a history yet, yet, because that motor is, it's fairly new. Even Toyota is, is built with reliability, guys, and built in Japan, too. That's another, uh, I'm rambling on, but yeah, that engine, hard to say, you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know, like, what, let me know what I should know, you guys, about these motors. And then this Honda is proven. Formula One, this, that's proven. If I'm lucky, like I said, I put deposits on both of them. If I'm lucky to get both of them, it's, oh, that would be like winning the lottery, you guys, I think. <laughs> but I would highly modify the Civic. And the uh, GR Corolla, I'd probably light mods, you guys. Just uh, let me know what would you guys like for the channel. Uh, what would you like to see on the channel? Um, I do have plans on taking the car on a road trip next year to Vancouver and Seattle. Uh, maybe see another YouTuber out there. That's the plan. And originally I was going to take the, the, the GTR, but if the Civic or Corolla is in the future here, um, maybe one of those, well, I think it'd be pretty sick to take one of those on the road trip, you guys, and rip in the, oh, rip in the canyon roads uh, or the roads in BC. They have some of the nicest roads to, uh, to drive, and I think one of those cars would be sick. Um, yeah, let me know you guys. I think for now, Honda Civic, you guys. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited, you guys. And uh, I don't know, it's uh, it's like, like I said, it's like winning the lottery, you guys. If we can get one of these cars, and good luck even getting it at MSRP. I'm not expecting to pay MSRP. I'm not a huge, big time YouTuber where I have influences uh, to get these cars at MSRP. I don't even know if I can get one, you guys. So hopefully, wish me luck, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. See ya.